want to know how would you describe the Romanian audience? The Romanian audience um, is very different on flights and at festivals. That's uh, one distinction I have to make. At this flight today, everybody was fighting and getting very drunk. At festivals, everybody's fighting and getting... No, it's not true. Um, the, the Romanian crowd has always been amazing. You know, like there's... there's a, We know how to party. You really do. And like, no, there's an amazing energy. I remember last year we had, um, we had a festival here, which was probably the highlight of our summer last year. Um, so it's, it's always been really good. Um, there's, there's a really good mix of like girls and guys as well in the crowd, which is very important um, for, for any atmosphere, I think. Um, and then Romania has always been like that. It's been really good. Tell me, what do you think is the hardest part of your job? The hardest part of my job? I, I want to say, I want to give you a cheesy answer and say nothing, but um, obviously there is. And it's probably harder for the people you can't see on camera right now. Mm -hmm. And don't tilt them around because I hate me. <laughs> but we've got a crew that sometimes have to fly in a day early. Um, and for some reason, uh, in Europe, the last two, three years, uh, flying has been harder and harder in the summer. There's always delays and like flights that kind of get missed. Um, but yeah, so sometimes it's, it's quite tough because he, like uh, my, my LD, my light designer, had to leave um, Ibiza uh, yesterday, sorry, two days ago at 4 a.m. to get away at 11 p.m. So you travel a whole, whole day Uh, for a festival for the day after so like it's it's hard work um, especially for the other people I just sleep everybody's everybody's working I just sleep um, but it's um, yeah sometimes it's tough what's the best part of the job the best part of the job is when you're on stage you're having a good show and again with the team when you like um, when everybody's vibing when everybody's feeling the energy is, is the most amazing feeling um, for me personally The best feeling ever is making a song and playing it the week after. Making a song and kind of trying to imagine if the crowd is going to like it in studio and then actually seeing the crowd like react to it. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen, sometimes it happens. When it happens, best feeling ever. How would you describe your team? So, uh, we got Josh on the Present left. Present them a little bit. Josh Smith on the left, everybody. Josh is my tour manager. I've got a tour manager, I've got a photographer uh, and an LD uh, slash VJ slash um, Italian extraordinaire who gets uh, com very annoyed with people, especially when he's tired. Um, so nobody's alone on stage, just so you know it. Yeah, no, no, you're never alone. And you've got about, like, depending on the festival, thousands of, of, of fans in front of you, so you, you feel incredible every time. But um, yeah, like you said, having people and just... Um, having the right people. Yeah, yeah, trusting, trusting the people around you and knowing they, they, they know what they're, what they're doing, which I know from these two, I'm, I'm not always sure about the guy in the middle, but like it's, it's, always, <laughs> it's, uh, it's always an amazing, um, an amazing feeling, you know, like if you can build to something together and like we feel it, like they're all watching their phone and pretending they don't, they don't care right now, but um, if you have a good show together, it's, it's fucking amazing and you're like, you have, the, you have an after party afterwards and everybody's fucking, uh, like... They're your family. Yeah. And when you're touring, it's like a family. And uh, I want to know if you're in charge with your own social media accounts because everybody's on their fucking social media these days. Yeah, I, I don't mind social media. It's, it's actually been a big part of my job. So I, I can't, I can't, um, I can't swear about it too much. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I've got somebody that's way better at it than, than I am. <laughs> um, but um, social media, you know, like it connects people. Um, whatever, man. Like I've been in contact with fans and like I've, I've had. Um, Amazing stories being told on social media. I, I can't complain about it. Um, yeah, people use their phones quite a lot, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with the way they deal with it. I honestly believe at some point in the future, uh, we're, we're probably going back to a time with like less social media or like less kind of direct access to that on a screen. Um, I, I do believe like there's going to be an anti-movement at some point where people want the real thing again, uh, but we're not, we're not there yet. When do you feel the most awake? No, I, I, feel, I feel awake. Okay, so my day goes like I wake up and it's definitely my most awake moment when I want to make music. Then I fall asleep, but like my brain falls asleep for the rest of the day. And then I really woke up, wake up at night again. And all of my friends can confirm this. Like I wake up after a show when I had like amazing energy and like had some... Like, so yeah. after your show, you're ready for another one? Uh, basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm fortunate for my crew. You've been to Romania so many times and uh, we know your music, we know your style, but if you had to describe your style mm. in only one word, what would that word be in 2019? <laughs> My favorite question. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, oh man. People oh. like to talk about artists a lot, you know. I would say that guy is amazing, he's awesome, he's 
blowing your mind. Right. But it's also your perspective. I'm not going to yeah. Um I feel like I'd like to think that my music um makes people people feel good. I mean positive man like it's important to have like um to have a good atmosphere. So I hope positive is like as cheese as a word and the answer can be uh, I, I hope that's like something that people take away from the show tonight. Do you think there are moments when you are down also? Uh yeah, yeah. Can you give an advice for young artists that are experimenting? Oh, okay, I see in the professional. Okay. Um yeah, okay. So it's a good point you make. Like I I think like it's it's really important when you start making music that like especially if you start in 2019 because I started 15 years ago it was a lot different now it's like um it's tough because there's a lot of people and I'm sure there's like there's people in Romania that are super talented in like making music and like um kind You're of struggling telling, this moment, maybe. maybe um but like it's it's important to like not just look at like unfortunately but we're not just looking at like music anymore it's a business now and like you said earlier like social media is such a big thing you you almost need to build a character and a business around it without just like jamming in your bedroom like i was doing um so it, it can be tough um like if i can give one word of advice is is just try and like uh try and be yourself man and, and try and like um try and create your own character without like stepping too far away so, like try and be your fantasy rather than like what you think would be the right fantasy for people to watch like yeah what do you do in your spare time you mentioned fantasies and most of people are playing games or you know going into a real fantasy world yeah 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 i, I, do, I don't i don't play games at all i uh my, i'm i'm not really a gamer no i um i i like um i like good food i like enjoying good food with friends um that's like in the summer what i try to do in my spare time um I like um I like traveling a little bit so yeah. Mhm. Mm. Your favorite place to drop a mix. My favorite place to drop a mix. Okay, so festivals or clubs, festivals I think in the summer, but I love going back to clubs in winter. Um uh, when it comes to down to countries, I've always loved love 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 New Zealand. Um that's one of my my favorite countries to play at. To be honest, Romania has always been like really high and I I know how like light this sun, but like Romania has always been like high up as well. I love Eastern um Eastern Europe. I love um I love yeah I like playing in Belgium my own country as well uh, that's my nice my top three um the fries are nice and the beers are good uh Romanian fans um well like thanks for watching thanks for like letting me talk about uh what my favorite uh um things are that I do next to uh, uh DJing um I mean I've had an amazing past in Romania I've always had a lot of fun and um I want I want to thank everybody that came out to shows like honestly um it's, it's been it's been great in this country